This pink glow is a pulse of super hot plasma hurtling around a machine called JET as it set a world record for generating energy from nuclear fusion. But this was its last goodbye. JET, the joint European Taurus, has been at the forefront of fusion research for 40 years. When construction began, it wasn't certain if this kind of machine could generate fusion energy. Containing a swirling plasma with magnets likened to holding jelly in a net is a mind-blowing challenge. But at 150 million degrees centigrade, the hottest thing in the solar system, that's even harder. But they proved it's possible. JET has covered so many areas of physics and of engineering that it really is the basis for quite a lot of what we are planning now for a future uh, fusion power plant. This is one of the projects she means, ITER, an international collaboration to build the world's largest fusion reactor under construction in France. JET's engineering has paved the way too. Can I work your place? Thank you. This remote handling team will soon be busy dismantling the mildly radioactive metal tiles inside JET. But it's also one of the important legacies of the project because what they've learned here is being applied to new, larger fusion projects. After leaving the EU, the UK chose to stop being a fully paid up member of the international ITER project. JET's farewell celebration tinged with uncertainty. The government opting instead to go it alone, funding our own new fusion power plant in Nottinghamshire. The advice that I received from the amazing people working here at Cullum and the people that I'm talking to around the world involved in fusion right now, fusion by 2040 on the grid is a reality and it's going to happen here in the UK before it happens anywhere else in the world. That's bold. Very. Fusion power at a national scale, fossil free and virtually limitless, is a lot further off than that. But Jet's legacy is that it should one day be a reality. Tom Clark, Sky News, Oxfordshire.